Last classes, we finish um, all classes one, two, three, and four. For most, we finished five. Some we did not. So, just in case for those I did not. Number one, what transformation occurred? These two shapes stayed the same. This is just T, and this is on your paper should have been T prime. This is P prime and B prime. I think you can see those. That's the image. Anytime it has the prime, it is the image part. The pre image is the one without it. So it starts from here. So this is a translation of four up because the shape stays the same. So this is a translation of up four. Right? And that's it. <coughs> Write a congruency statement. Okay, that's easy. This is a statement, just like last night's statement is triangle B. P and T is congruent to triangle B prime, P prime, and T prime. <coughs> Identify the congruent angles. Okay, let's start with the, the original image. We got angle B, angle P, and angle T. Okay, got angle B angle P and angle T. That is all congruent to, each one of them is congruent to another one on the other triangle. Angle P, B is congruent to, of course, angle B prime. That's an easy one. And of course, it's P prime and T prime. So that's easy enough, angle P prime and angle T prime. Identify congruent sides. This is side. Okay, let's take the first triangle side. Okay, do it in red. P to B. P to B. The second side of this triangle is T to P. And the third side is the last one is T to P. B. And they are, each one of them is congruent to the other one, let's see, congruent to um, P prime and B prime, P prime and B prime. T prime and P prime. The last one's T prime and B prime. Line segment. Okay. Reflect the image. Oh, I shouldn't have wrote translation there. Sorry, you should have wrote translation for up here. Because we're gonna reflect reflect that mirror, the pre-image, over x negative 1. So find x, go to negative 1, put a dot. That's your mirror right here. Reflect the pre-image. And this is the pre-image right here. Over that. So that means it flips over. B flips over to here, exact same point. B prime. P goes over here. P prime. And that goes over here to T prime. Okay, and um, letter F, this will be on your quiz Friday. So um, F is rotate. That means flip it 180 degrees around the origin, label it double prime. Okay. Flip it over 180 degrees, so it would be in this quadrant right here. 180 degrees, it stays the same. The number stays the same, the coordinates. This is 2, negative 3, so it's 2, 3 here. B double prime. T is 0, 5, so 0, 5 here. 
and that's four, three. It's P prime. Connect the dots. <coughs> you got four cut your triangle in one shape, okay? And then in every class we did this. If oh yes, one class I did not do this. Um <coughs> so this one here is it got bigger the scale. It started out with this little triangle right here. And the scale factor of three, it means grow by three. So the itself is that big triangle. Same thing here, scale factor of three, it got bigger by three. The original is, oops, the original is right here, the little triangle there, and it grew bigger by three. Now on number eight, um, dilation, dilate triangle ABC on the coordinate plane using center point is AA, as the center of dilation, that means you start right there. And a scale factor of a, ha a third. When you have a fraction, that means it's less than one, so it's going to get smaller. So let's see. To, to do this, you need to count. Count from A to B, how many, how big this is, and then divide it by three because you're reducing it by a third. A half you divide by two, a third you divide by three, a fourth you divide by four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen boxes. Okay, so you get fifteen of them. So. 15 boxes and we only want a third so you divide by 3 so we need to count 5 boxes from the center of dilation which is right here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay. B got smaller to right there and then also on the side you count the same count that how many I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 of them. You divide by 3. 12 boxes. You divide by 3. You get 4 boxes. So 1, 2, 3, 4 right there. C prime is there. So here's your little triangle now. It's reduced to 1 third. That's your little triangle. It was big before, now it's this little. Okay. You do the same thing to this one. Um, so graph x2, 17, 2, 17, right there, x, y is 17, 17, right there. That's y. And then 17, 8. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Reduced triangle. We can have a reduction, so it's a fraction. On the coordinate plane using point Y as the center. So you know use this one again. Have dilation and a scale factor of a third. That means divide by three. Okay, so you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 divided by 3, get 5. Anyways, right, x prime. And this is on this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 9 divided by 3. You only want 3 boxes. So, I'm going to erase. Oops. 3 boxes is 1, 2, 3 right there. 5 on this side. This one is Z prime. Connect color. 
That's it. Right there. It's reduced. It's a lot smaller than the original. What type of transformation occurred below? Oh, it's flipped and it's not the exact image. So this is a... Uh-oh. I forgot. Oh. Occurred below. KLM is the pre-image. Okay, so this is the pre-image. I was looking for that. This is zero. And this is a flip, so it's a rotation. Not obvious, a reflection of 90 degrees counter. <coughs> or 2-7 counterclock. 2-7 um, clockwise. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which letter on the image is congruent to line segment MN? Okay, this is MN here. Which one's congruent to that? Side D. D is congruent to that. That's E. What type of transformation? This is a flip, but it's directly across. So this is a reflection over the x-axis. Okay, um, this is GHI is the pre-image. Which letter of the image is congruent to line segment H and I? Okay, which one is congruent to H and I? Letter B. Okay, and then number 12. <coughs> We've done a lot of this. Least common denominator is 10. <coughs> so... We multiply by 10, oops, times 10, times 10, times 10, additive inverse. Okay, 5 into 10 is 2 times, this is a negative, so negative 6 equals 7m plus a negative 50. Add 50. Excuse the interruption. Attention all students that are attending the tutoring center is now going to be in row 15. Once again, the tutoring center is in row 15. Divide by 7. It doesn't go in evenly, so M is 44 over 7. One solution. Okay, circle the step that's incorrect, then redo the problem correctly. I always like to redo the problem first. I would have done additive inverse, and that would give me negative 6x plus a positive 9. Ooh. Oh, this person. Okay. Right here. That's a negative. I didn't co copy it right from there, guys. So that's a positive. So they they are correct on this part. Okay, and then after that they combine these two together to get zero. So 6x plus zero equals to 6, 9 plus 6x. Make 0 to 6x six minus 6x. Six Add 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 0 is 9. No solution. Let's see where their mistake is. Right here. Negative 6 plus 6x six should have been 0, not 9. So that's their mistake. Okay. <clears throat> no solution. <coughs> That's how you do this. All right. Got busy today, so later. <laughs>